How dare you? How dare you? Listen here, mister. Just because you're big doesn't mean you get to be a bully. You may have huge teeth and sharp scales and snore smoke and breathe fire, but you do not. I repeat, you do not hurt my friend. You got that. Well? But that rainbow one kicked me. And I am very sorry about that. But you're bigger than she is, and you should know better. You should also know better than to take a nap where your snoring can become a health hazard to other creatures. But I... Don't you but I mean, mister. Now what do you have to say for yourself? I said... What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> there, there. No need to cry. You're not a bad dragon. You just made a bad decision. Now go pack your things. You just need to find a new place to sleep. There's yeah! No! Aww. I mean, it's time for bed, don't you think? Aren't you excited to get all toasty and warm in your snuggly wuggly little beds? Snuggly wuggly? But we have more exciting to do! <laughs> There's some good. <laughs> you! Just who do you think you are going around turning others into stone? You should be ashamed of yourself. I have half a mind to find your mother and tell her what you've been up to, young man. Now you go over there and turn Elizabeth and my friend Twilight back to normal. And don't ever let me catch you doing this again. Do you understand me? Are you girls all right? Allow me. <clears throat> Girls? Yes, Fluttershaft? You called? Go and get your things. Rarity's here to see you home. Of course, Fluttershy. Right away. Uh, how did you... How did you do that? I guess I'm just as good with kids as I am with animals. Thank you, Fluttershy! Thank you, Fluttershy! Uh, uh... Speaking of which, I could use your help with Opal. Of course. How about later today? Uh, next time, get out of the way before I bump into you. Because I totally won't be sorry when I do. Petunias, <laughs> again. Let the professional handle it. <laughs> Treat me like a pushover, and you'll get the once over. <laughs> well, perhaps that is enough water. Thank you. <laughs> I can't believe it worked. Shut move. You're blocking my path. Y yeah, in a minute. So the donkey says. When somebody tries to block, show them that you rock. Oh, easy does it, lady. We're moving, okay? Good. Maybe maybes are for babies. Now go to the back of the line where you belong. <laughs> Fluttershy does not want the wrong mail delivered to her cottage. 
Oh, did I mix them up again? Sorry about that. You apologize? I penalize! <sighs> Ooh. you doing? That's no way to behave. Didn't you see what he did to new Fluttershy? And he thought new Fluttershy was a pushover. No, sweetie, he didn't. We saw the whole thing. We think that you've taken your assertiveness training a little too far. What? You just want new Fluttershy to be a doormat like old Fluttershy. But old Fluttershy is gone! New Fluttershy? Old Fluttershy? What happened to nice Fluttershy? We want that Fluttershy back. No, you want wimp Fluttershy. You want pushover Fluttershy. You want do anything to her and she won't complain Fluttershy. Yeah, too many Fluttershy to keep track of. Make it stop. Things getting too complicated for your simple little brain, Pinkie Pie. Now stop right there. Let's not let things descend into petty insults. Why not? I thought petty was what you're all about, Rarity, with your petty concerns about fashion. <gasps> hey, leave her alone! Fashion is her passion! Oh, and what are you passionate about? Birthday cake? Party hats? I can't believe that the two most frivolous ponies in Ponyville are trying to tell New Fluttershy how to live her life when they are throwing their own lives away on pointless pursuits that no pony else gives a flying feather about! <laughs> Looks like Nasty Fluttershy is here to stay! Oh, I cannot believe what that monster Iron Will has done to you! <laughs> <laughs> Iron Will's not a monster! He's a Minotaur! Um, no. What did you say? No. Oh. I guess I'm the first then. But since I'm not satisfied, I refuse to pay. It's as simple as that. Oh, that's great news. Because it means you'll all be helping me with something special, too. Something that's been a dream of mine for a long time. Oh, goody! Is your dream to make a bouncy castle shaped like a gigantic bunt cake? Um, no. Not exactly. Oh, just me, then. Oh, that's because it's not. It's a sanctuary. A place that is safe but not restrictive. Cozy but natural. A place where the animals can come and go as they please. Critters don't live the same way ponies do. I know this is unconventional, but that's because we're trying to do something that's never been done before. And I really believe it'll work. I don't love it. This is not going to work at all. A giraffe can't fit through this door. With these curtains blocking the light, how are the birds going to sing in the sunshine? And this is the opposite of a nice hug. I know you all worked hard, but none of you did anything I asked for. I may not know much about construction or interior design or wrangling, but I am an expert at one thing. The care of animals. And what animals need is a sanctuary, not this! My vision isn't the problem here. I told you all exactly what I wanted, and none of you listened to me! So while I appreciate your efforts, I no longer require your services. If every pony stop! I appreciate you sharing your thoughts, but I need every pony to respect mine. Other ponies may be experts in their fields, but animals are my field of expertise. And if I say this is what I want, then this is what needs to happen! Oh, for the animals, of course. Wow! 